from the GJ 3512B to the WASP 18B. Here are your top 10 scientifically impossible planets that shouldn't exist. But do. In our number 10 spot, we have GJ 3512b. A new planet has been found that is so big that it is believed that it couldn't have formed in the way we usually agree that most planets do, leaving scientists scratching their heads. People believe that it should not exist. This planet has been called GJ 3512b. Apparently, the discovery of this planet might force astronomers to rethink how planets are born, as it is so much bigger than its star, GJ3512, which is considered a dwarf star. Typically, the stars are bigger than the planets as their gravitational pull helps form the planets. But this planet is way bigger than its star, and so it has formed in a way that we have not come across yet. The planet and its star are only 30 light years away. In space talk, that's actually relatively nearby. It takes about 204 days to orbit its star. It was discovered in an observatory in Spain. Pretty cool to think about everything that we haven't discovered in the universe yet. Actually, maybe cool isn't the word. Perhaps it's not cool, but terrifying. <laughs> and heavy, you know. Nah, never mind. I'm gonna be positive. There are probably alien friends awaiting our discovery, and that will be a fun day. In our number nine spot, we have B Centauri B. This is another planet that scientists believe should not exist at all. Why? Because it is ginormous, and the two star system is considered too hot to have a planet. Of course, it is not too hot, but clearly there's so much we haven't discovered yet, and this system completely scraps what we thought we knew already, which is good, as the discovery of this new planet does change a lot about what we know about this star system that is said to be 325 light years away. Anyways, the planet is said to be 10 times bigger in mass than Jupiter, making it one of the biggest exoplanets to have ever existed. The planet has an orbit distance of 83 billion miles between B Centauri B and the B Centauri and the Centauri B star system. This is one of the widest orbits ever discovered. Pretty cool. In our number eight spot, we have HD 106906b. HD 106906b is considered a gas giant star and it orbits an F type star. It's one of the few planets to be directly imaged, which is pretty cool. Its weight, well, it is believed to be about 11 times more massive than Jupiter. What? That seems so hard to imagine. Also, does it blow anyone else's mind that we are able to measure the weight of planets? Because it blows my mind. Makes me feel dumb. It makes me want to go back to school, not gonna lie. How have humans figured out how to measure a planet many light years away? And I haven't even figured out how to make an Eggs Benny. I'm a massive Eggs Benedict fan, so it's just sad and tragic that I haven't figured that out yet. Oh well. This is another planet that formed so far from its star that it's hard for scientists to assume that it formed in the traditional way. It is said to orbit at a distance that's 16 times further away from its star than Pluto is from the sun. Apparently, it also takes 13,500 and 38.6 years to complete one orbit of its star. Yeah, I'd say that it's pretty far then. <laughs> In our number seven spot, we have planet nine. But Mel, you just said seven. No, it's planet nine. In the number seven spot. Dope. Uh, guys, all you need to learn in life is how to entertain yourselves. Then you shall thrive and be prosperous in life. Believed to be a possible rogue planet and possibly stolen from a passing exoplanetary system, this planet is actually considered to be a part of our own solar system, weirdly enough. Simulations have suggested that the planet orbits between 5 and 18 times further away from Pluto. They say that it approximately orbits the sun at 40 billion to 140 billion miles. Look, planet 9 still is just a theory they say, so quite possibly it doesn't exist, but a lot of people believe that it does. But until the day that it has been officially discovered, let's just say that it's a planet that shouldn't exist, but possibly does. In our number six spot, we have Kelt 4AB. There is a planetary system called a triple star system, and it is called Kelt 4. Yes, this star system has three suns, and that is what you would see from the planet Kelt 4AB. It orbits extremely close 
close to its host, Kelt 4a. The planet is approximately 760 light years away in the constellation of Leo. Apparently, the unusualness of this planet and its system may help explain how hot Jupiter's form as it is actually considered a hot Jupiter itself. Apparently, scientists once thought that gas giants could only form in the outer reaches of their systems, but now we're questioning that theory and believe that the interaction between the three stars might explain how it got so close to its star. The planet was discovered by the Kilo Degree Extremely Little Telescope, so that's where Kelt came from. Imagine living in a world with three suns. I wonder if that would mean winter wouldn't exist and we would be warm always? That sounds freaking amazing, sign me up. In our number five spot, we have the Diamond Planet. There is a planet not in our solar system that is called 55 Cancri E, and this planet is also known as the Diamond Planet. For reasons you can assume, because it is believed to have diamonds all over the planet. The reason scientists believe that it could be covered in diamonds is because it is believed to be rich in carbon and under extreme heat and pressure that creates a diamond. Apparently, 55 Cancri E is 25 times close to its star than Mercury is to the sun, so that is where the heat is believed to come from. I'm sure if we ever got close to it, the planet would just sparkle at us and blind us from all of its beautiful diamonds. The other less fun theory is that it may be surrounded by an exotic state of matter known as a supercritical fluid, a substance that has characteristics close to gas but dissolves like liquids. But nah, that's not a fun theory. I want to believe in a diamond planet, damn it. Diamonds are a girl's best friend, don't you know? <laughs> Cue Bobby's mom from Bobby's World. If you don't know that show, then you didn't live through the 90s. Fun fact, Howie Mandel was the voice of Bobby. Yep, I was mind blown too. In our number four spot, we have PSR B1257 plus 12. Yeah, the names of some of these planets are a lot for me. Too many numbers and letters. Give me a word, scientists. This exoplanet does have a nickname though, so at least it has that. It's known as Lick, not L I C K, but L I C H. Looks like it could be a German word. I don't know. The German side of my family will be terribly disappointed in me for not knowing this for sure. Oh well, I got flaws. Deal. This planet was actually one of the first exoplanet to have been discovered, and this one in particular doesn't orbit a main sequence star. It's what is known as a pulsar, which is a stellar remnant. No larger than New York City, but it's actually 40% heavier than the sun. It's also called an undead star, and it's left over from a supernova explosion. At first, this planet baffled scientists as they wondered how the heck did it survive the supernova? But then they eventually assumed that it could have formed due to the collision of two white dwarf stars near it. In our number three spot, we have PSO J318.5-22. This planet should not exist. Why? Because it is all on its lonesome out in space without a host, without a star to orbit. Pretty wild, right? Yep, it was very mind blowing and hard for scientists to wrap their brain around, but the discovery of this star has indeed shocked scientists everywhere. Why it has no host and how? We still do not know. Some scientists believe that it must have had an unusual past. Apparently, the planet's luminosity and age shows that its atmosphere is quite hot and it consists of host dust and molten iron rain. One theory is that it was kicked out of its original solar solar system after it was formed. Whatever that means. How could a planet be kicked out? A giant planet solar system foot kicked it out, that's how. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> In our number two spot, we have TH Hydra B. Here is another planet that technically has yet to have been confirmed, so it's possible that it doesn't actually exist. It's the TW Hydra B. It's most likely an exoplanet that's orbiting a main sequence star. This is estimated to be about 176 light years away. Its host star is the reason it is believed that the planet shouldn't exist, and that is because the star is too young, it's a little BB star. It is only about five to 10 million years old. The planet wouldn't have had much time to form because of how young the star is, so it's interesting to note that perhaps this is another one of those special cases where scientists wonder if it's possible for planets to form without host stars. Apparently, it is also quite far from its host and from the planet forming dust, so it is definitely curious if it exists and how it formed in such a short period of time. In our number one spot, we have have a wasp 18b. Here we have the case of a planet that shouldn't exist because it should be 
dead. The WASP 18b is classified as a hot Jupiter sized planet that is orbiting a little too closely to its host star. So close that it is believed that the star will devour the planet pretty soon in what is known as a tidal deceleration. At this point, the planet's surface temperature is estimated to be over 6,000 degrees Celsius, which is why scientists are extremely confused that it still exists. It should have burned completely at this point. This has left many questions as to what we may not fully understand yet and what could be prevented from dying. I'm Melissa Mwadi, your host, and as always, I hope that you have a good day, sir.